the New Orleans Songbird, Robin Barnes. Y'all, we are on day two. Day two. We made it to day two of the French Quarter Festival here at Spanish Plaza at the WWL Love Louisiana stage, right across the Jack Daniel stage. You can already hear people perform behind us. Lots of energy. It's exciting. Thank you so much for sitting with, down with me to, for today. Thank you for having me. All right, I feel like I need a beatbox the rest of this interview now. <laughs> So Robin, tell us about when you're performing, what's happening for tomorrow. So I'm so excited. Tomorrow, Sunday, I will be performing in Jackson Square at the New Orleans and Company stage at 2.20. So it's going to be definitely a, a look to be seen. And I have a new headdress I'm debuting this year. So the songbird, her feathers, my headdress, it's going to be fun. You're so classy, spunky, fun, and you bring so much excitement with a twist. So tell people about what type of music that you perform. So I love being born and raised in New Orleans. I feel like anyone can understand that we don't necessarily be in a box. You know, we can do a little bit of jazz, soul, funk, and then tomorrow we're going to add a little bit of Zydeco. I'm going to have um, my cousin, Sun Pie Barnes, join me on the accordion. So you're going to get a whole show of what it is to be born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. That music is just going to transcend. The melting pot. The music. melting pot, yes. yes. <laughs> and you have such a wide range of vocals. So, so I I, little... you know what's funny? I'm like a alto two to a soprano one, so I can go. <laughs> Glass breaks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Robin. So you're from New Orleans, Louisiana. When did you start performing professionally, and how did you get into that? So my whole family are musicians. Um, I am the baby, and I've been singing since I was six years old. I started in church, and then after there, I started with my dad, my brother's jazz um, jazz band. So I have been performing from church to Frenchman Street to just private parties with my family, and music's in my blood. I knew since I was six years old, I want to sing. Even when I got my master's in business, I was like, Mom, Dad, I love you, but now I'm going to sing. <laughs> At what point did you realize, I'm good? <laughs> I don't think that ever happened yet. What? I just do what I love. I don't, I don't, I, I, I try not to think about how I'm sounding or anything like that. I just, as long as people are enjoying themselves, that's when I know I'm doing a good job. And you're doing it from the soul, and that's what's so unique as well, because I, people, if you have not seen her perform yet, you can actually feel her music and that's what sets her apart from many other musicians that I've watched perform and then sometimes you have some that sound great on just the audio or on the phones that you download the music and some are so so performing on the stages but you have it all the whole package all around and I'm so excited to and looking forward to seeing you for tomorrow as well so it's funny because I was driving down the road in downtown New Orleans <laughs> and I and I looked and this was before the stoplight. I said, is that Robin? <laughs> she has a mural downtown. Tell us about that. So um, I, first of all, everyone texts me about it all the time. Even my fans will Instagram me and they'll go, is this you? And then I'll, and I'll send them a photo of me posing. Like, yes, there is a mural of me on Rampart Street. And it's so cool because there's a local company that wants to add more murals and more of the local legends and I'm like whoa I'm a local legend this is insane but it's a living legend kind of thing and that homage and that credit and that love is just so it's really cool I just I'm because I'm from here I I just take it as a you know I'm Robin you know little Robin da 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 and then people are like no you're the songbird and I'm just like to be given that honor I mean even given the name the songbird in New Orleans by the city it's just, it's awesome. And I'm very, very grateful. And I'll do you guys proud. Don't worry. <laughs> I just have chills for you. And you have a family. Yes. So how do you balance that? Right? I don't sleep. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> She's I have, not kidding. I have two little ones. And it's so funny because it really, because I have to perform at nighttime, I really utilize as much time during the day to just be with them. And the fact that their little personalities are coming out and they love music. My little one told me today, we didn't have any music on in the background. And she goes, it's too quiet. We need some music. And I'm like, that is a little musician in the making. I love it. Are you usually singing around the house? <laughs> I'm like always cooking, singing around the singing house. We're always, we're always creating. And I sing talk. So no matter what we're doing, like when I'm walking down the street, people are like, hey, Robin, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing great. How are you? Fabulous. Oh, yeah. See, there you go. No one ever sings to me, so I appreciate you, Colleen. <laughs> That's about it for that. <laughs> you know, I don't want to, I got to save my voice for the interviews, Robin. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, 
Tell us about, too, have you performed across the nation, globally? Where are some of the places that really stick out to you of, like, just the experience collectively? You know, I will say I am a um, state ambassador, a U.S. culture ambassador, and I get to travel around the world doing what I love and performing my, my music. But there's only so many places that feel like New Orleans. You know, no matter where I am, no matter how the culturally diverse from the food to the music these places are, nothing feels like that warmth that you have when you walk off the like plane or walk down the street and somebody says, hey, how you doing? And you're like, thank you, I'm all right, how are you? And I, and I love traveling, I love being able to do more internationally and national things so like keep them coming but I do love that I get to live in such a magical place and perform here as often as I do. It really is magical so for those who are tourists perhaps planning on coming to New Orleans or even our locals tell us about where you perform weekly. Yes so I um, perform in a duo format with my husband the lovebirds we do every Thursday at the Peacock Room but I am really excited because I am now stepping out into being an independent artist. So I am doing specialty shows like April 30th. I will be doing my first special show with all original music at Hotel Peter and Paul. Very excited about that. Very excited to just start getting who is Robin out to the world. So I may be coming to a city near you, but you can always find me here at home. So stay a part of the website and the Instagram, the things. So what is your Instagram for those that want to follow yes. you, watch your videos, hear you sing? So my Instagram is um, New Orleans Songbird. So at yes. New Orleans. Yes, you heard me sing that. It's not a competition. It's not a competition. But no, my uh, Instagram is at New Orleans Songbird. My website is RobinBarnesMusic.com. So come hang out with me. Can people book you for private experiences, parties, weddings? Yes, book me for all the things. It's funny now that I am being a little bit more. Um, you know curated with my shows it gives me a little bit more freedom to be able to do more um, private events and I love weddings with the with the duo we do it it's called the lovebirds it's my husband and I and we've been doing so many weddings and it's funny because people go you guys are so cute and we're like we're married that's why it's called the lovebirds you know but so. it's not always like that for the musicians so <laughs> it is not always like that but yes you know I'm trying to do more festivals more private events so yes book me for all the things girl take all my money how did you <laughs> and your husband meet oh my gosh so funny story um i was walking into a rehearsal and he was coming out of rehearsal and we just locked eyes and said hi and that was it that's it that's, that's that all was it, it. Takes? that was it but funny enough the guy that i was walking into the rehearsal with actually had a crush on me and he told me my husband's name is pat and he told me his name was bob so for four years i looked for bob who plays bass there was never a bob who played bass and my father retired um, playing bass with me. He'd been playing with me since I was six years old, and I needed to find a replacement bass player. So Pat walks into the, the, the performance, and he's like, hey, I'm Pat. And I'm like, oh, it was love at first sight four years ago. Hi, Bob. And he's like, no, no, my name's Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you call him by the right name now. Yes, for sure. And it's cool because that, that, that day, I was looking for a bass player to play with for the rest of my life. So I asked him, I was like, what are you doing for the rest of your life? And he goes, I guess I'm playing bass with you. And then six months we started dating and we've been married almost 10 years. So he asked you out? Actually, I asked him out. I know, I know. I never ask anyone out, but I was like, how would you feel if I said I liked you? And he was like, I'd say that's pretty cool. We're opposites. I'm all like hyper. My husband's very chill. But yeah. That's so beautiful. And <laughs> gosh, y'all, I'm just thinking about the love life situation right here. Because <laughs> you hear these great stories and it really is amazing how just the stars align. And with that, even the upcoming musicians, do you have any advice for those that are younger, older, that want to be in the music industry? I always tell people it's never too late to start, and you just have to believe in yourself. I feel like with my career, I have been told and continue being told, no, no, you, you, you don't deserve that or you can't have that, and I keep going, you know what, if I believe and I try and I work really hard, it's going to work out. And I think as long as you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter. You know, be able to figure out your path and learn how to pivot. That's my biggest advice. If something doesn't work out, pivot. Find a different angle. Find a different way. Because I was supposed to be just a jazz singer. And I wanted to do more than just jazz. And everyone said, "That's there's no way you can just do one genre. You can do more than one genre. And I said, let me try. And now I'm just so happy that 
people can come see different forms of Robin. If they see the New Orleans Songbird, they can see a little bit more soulful jazz. If they see Robin and the Firebirds that you will see tomorrow, it's high energy, it's soul, it's funk, it's Zydeco. And then if you see the, the Lovebirds, it's more love music, more just happy. And I'm able to cultivate that. And that's only because I really just, I knew what my dream was and I went for it and I just kept going for it. You have so much to offer from all sides of the spectrum and the, and the music world and to, for people's emotions. And thank you so very much. Y'all come check out the New Orleans Songbird tomorrow. Tell us where and what time. It's gonna be the Jackson Square. The Jackson Square. The New Orleans and Company stage at 220, y'all. Come hang out with me. Are we gonna sing? You gonna be box, you ready? All right. Thank you, Robin. Thank you.